So guys, on this episode, we're headed back out to the same property where we recently picked up the old 65 Ford F100. If you guys remember on that video, it was quite the challenge to try to dig up that truck where it had been sitting for over 50 years now. Now supposedly there's another old car out here that's been setting up for about the same amount of time, but I think the story's a little bit different on that, in which we won't be digging it out of its grave, but instead possibly cutting it out of a tree. Now the story was told that this car was parked back in the 80s and they drove it to where it's been resting ever since. So we're not really sure what it's going to take to get it out of the woods and onto our trailer, but we brought plenty of tools, uh, plenty of saws and jacks. Hopefully we can get this thing out today, get it on our trailer, and get it back to the shop. Kind of makes you wonder how in the world or why in the world something got parked out here in the <laughs> middle of nowhere like this. Yeah. And it may not have been the middle of nowhere back then. Yeah, that's true. I knew there were some trees around it, but man, those things are huge. Good grief, this one's done smashed in the quarter panel over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's grown into the quarter panel. Yeah. This thing had to have been out here 40 years or so, I would say. You had to be pinched in amongst Oh my trees. gosh, look at this. The whole front bumper, a tree's Ooh. grown through the bumper. What would have been a little two inch spot is now a yeah. <laughs> foot it's, and a half. Yep, and it ain't like it's just barely grown in it. It's this is going to be a lot it. more of a job than what I was thinking it was going to be. Pushed in the fender here. Wow, this done grown into the wheel there. Oh, it sure has. I bet you this one's going to have to come down. And it's the biggest one that's around it. Right. That one may have to come down too. It's kind of got it wedged in there, don't it? Yeah. Of course, I don't know if if you could get it to twitch just a little bit. Is that a V4? Oh, yeah. Surely not. <laughs> Probably just the way they made the emblem. Well, I don't even know where you start on something like this. I mean, I'd hate to have to cut those down because those things are huge. Uh -huh. I knew we were going to have to trim some stuff, but I was expecting, you know, just some little Six yeah, inches or so, thing. six to eight inches, not a two footer. But you know that wheel's probably stuck into the base of that trunk. I don't know if we get some jacks and just try to jack the car up and see if it'll at least move any. We can, at least the trees, like I say, they're kind of growing away from it, so. If any of them is, hasn't intimidated me, this one's it. Pretty cool though. Yeah. Well, let's grab some jacks and see what it does or don't do, I guess. Try to see if it'll even move out of the ground or if we just hear metal crunching, <laughs> make a decision from there. Right. So you guys probably remember that Ford F100 that we recently cut out of the woods. Uh, this is another candidate from the same property here. So after we talked to the owner, dug in a little bit deeper on the property, we come across this old saw. I would think it's probably from the 50s or 60s. I've never actually seen a car like it, and it may even have a V4 in it. So that would be pretty interesting to find out if we can ever get it cut out of here. Now this thing has been setting out here, I would say 40, 50 years, a long time. And these trees have just basically completely taken over its life. We've got one here that's grown between the bumper and the grill. We've got one on the driver's side that's completely consumed that front wheel. And then back here on the passenger quarter, it's completely smashed that in. So me and dad brought some chainsaws. Uh, we brought some muscle and plans on cutting some of these things out, uh, but we weren't expecting anything quite this size. The one over there by the wheel, it's probably two to three foot diameter just on the base of the stump there. So right now we're just going to try plan A where we get some jacks, try to jack it up, see if anything even tries to come loose, get this bumper pulled loose here as well, and just make a decision to go into plan B after that. Try to get that front bumper off there loose. Okay. Thank you. 
Huh. Hey, we're gonna need a big hammer. <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna have issues back here too, cause I've gotta figure out how to, if I try right there, the bumper's bending like that. If I go further up underneath, then the bracket that holds the, the hitch is, is starting to bow upwards. So obviously it's there's, done pretty bad. Yeah, that and there's a gas tank that's right there that we can't get up underneath, so. Thought maybe to get up under, underneath the axle maybe. I'm gonna have to dig out some. Probably get over here on the underneath the body maybe. Just right here on the pinch well. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good jack spot right there. I mean, it's not really lifting it. I figured it'd be better for this side come up and go that way then. Uh, yeah, it might be. So that I can, I think I can get some dirt out from underneath and get, get to that axle. I'm going to have to come towards this side. Come on, pop loose or something. That ain't trying. That may have more of a grip on it than what yeah. What it seems like. It doesn't really feel like it. Well, it goes way on down in there, but surely we can get something and just kind of. You want to try that real quick? I think so. I'll grab the saw. Pretty close. Well, I can definitely tell that was around it. I'm gonna take that for a souvenir, but. <laughs> Get a little bit more of it. Um, what do you think? I think so. I think okay. maybe if I can kind of get Cut right a in. little wider, yeah. yeah. Most of it, maybe just yeah, a lot there. That I don't know if we try that just to see. I mean, it definitely got the piece that was going back in around the quarter panel. <clears throat> yeah. Let's try to jack that and see if that does anything different. Keep going. I think I see it moving up. Yep, there it went. Cool. Will it kill, still go? Yep. <laughs> it's talking to us. Robin's racing. <laughs> oh, there praise goes. God. Yep. Man, Dad, you messed that quarter panel up. Chainsaw hit it up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some boards. I wish I could get it like that. I mean, honestly, that right there, though, may work. It's gonna hit that wheel. I mean, that'll help it. It ain't gonna drop down a lot. See what it is? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that definitely has that. I wish we could pull it that way now, but I wish that front end would Let's get, you think get up front on this side and try to jack it up just to see if it would. Might try it, yeah. 
That wheel's stuck, ain't it? Yeah. We are pulled away from this tree up here, but it's Keep hoping it'll go pop in a good pop. <laughs> yeah. Right now it's yeah, it's flared. pulled away from that, ain't it? Yeah. Kind of flared that, but I mean. Yeah, that was like that earlier yeah. whenever. Um, and if that suspension still, oh, I hear something. Uh -oh, that's about all the jack I can get out of it. What if we hook a chain to this right now? Hook to that tree, leave that jack up underneath there maybe, and just try to see if this back end will slide this way some. We can. Uh, if it'll slide this way some and get away from that tree, then it gives us more options. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's hook a chain around that and try to use that chain hoist. Is it moving it? Yeah, it's coming your way. We Go can. to the other side. Man, I don't know. Hit it one more time or two. I thought I'd seen it moving, but it's not. Something's moving. I mean, it's, I it's say I'm still collapsing thinking. on the tire. Huh? The chain's collapsing around the tire. So we ain't making no headway, huh? Nah. Like that tree's gonna have to come out, come down over there. It's, uh, I mean, it's. And like I said, it's, it's this bumper and stuff still. I mean, we're loose here. But we're also just dragging all that corner into that. It's like it needs to go backwards, too. There's no telling what's grown up in there. Uh-uh. Yeah, that thing's gonna be grown into that wheel. Reach your hand, look. It looks like it did like the yeah, same thing. Yeah, it curled over it. Yeah. Curled up over it. I can kind of see it there. And I don't think, <laughs> I mean. It would have to come backwards. Yeah, maybe. Because it's, it's tapering down there. But there's no telling how it's, it may be grown underneath it also there. So unfortunately, me and dad have probably made it about as far as we can on this old car today. Uh, but fortunately, we made it a little further than I expected we would. I never thought it was gonna have trees this big up around it. I mean, we were ready and prepared to cut down some little six to eight inches, but these things are massive. So we did just about everything we could to avoid trying to cut down a tree. We were able to pull the car sideways away from the quarter panel back here, but that biggest front tree on that front wheel, it's just got a death grip on it. So unfortunately, that tree right there is going to have to come down. Uh, so I'm just going to get a hold of my friend Cody who has a tree trimming business. Have him come out here, cut that tree down, hopefully grind the stump around the wheel there, and then maybe we can just pull it out and just try to see what obstacles come up next. Well, I'll show you what we got going on here. We got this one pulled away. Yeah, <laughs> you can tell a little bit of Quite distance. a bit of damage, but up here is, here's a problem we're running into. And I'd say it's a pretty big problem. You we don't want to lose the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is where the car stopped though when it hit. It just yeah, you know. that's what it looks like, huh? We may it's have to cut that. Into it. I don't know about this one. We I can cut that if I need to, but this tree over here, the whole stinking wheel is grown up into the trunk of the tree there. Man, yeah, it has. This car has been here for a long time. What kind of car is this? It's an old Saab, I think from like the 60s or something. Supposedly it was running when they parked it out here, but and I don't <laughs> think none of this was here when they parked it out no, here. No, I don't think so. These trees grow fast. 
But we trimmed a little bit from that tree. It had wrapped around the quarter panel and we were able to kind of jack it up and move it around, mm -hmm. but it is not it's budging done. on that wheel right there. No, I'm afraid not. Well, the best plan of action that I have is that we're going to clean all this out behind here so you have a, obviously a place to get the tree out, but we are going to have to cut these down. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we can crash them away and not hurt the car at all, but yeah, they're definitely going to have to come down. Um, we brought the stump grinder so that we can kind of grind a little bit of this away to kind of help oh, maybe yeah. free it up as well. Um, and just kind of go from there. Yeah. So I think if we could, I mean, if you can get it cut low, that stump grinder should definitely help. And I mean, I, mm -hmm. I can chisel away with something too. That's kind of what we had to do on that. Just take a chisel and mm -hmm. start breaking it up. Yeah. But breaking chunks of the stump off. It's done did quite a bit of damage to the car, but yeah, if you can keep it from falling on it, that'd be great. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we can manage that. Okay. Hi, my name is Cody Estrada. I am the owner and operator of Roselle Tree Service. Lance called us out here today because he's got a car that I don't know much about, but it's stuck in these trees, and that part I do know a lot about. So we're going to help him free this car up and see if we can't come up with a game plan to where he can maybe get it out and get some use out of it. about yesterday whether or not we wanted to go ahead and replace both or just the one that was broke yeah <laughs> we replaced the one that was broke only yeah hey it looks about like ours well why didn't you ring the bell i don't know i actually saw it sitting there and i was like well i heard the sound and i thought well 
Think um, we can just kind of shove them out of the yeah. way, just make a path? Yeah. Oh, man. I wonder if we could strap that up some way, shape or form. Yeah, we can't really pull the old one off. No. I got some straps if you... You got a strap. That'd yeah. probably work better than the bailing wire. I think okay. it'll last longer. <laughs> All right, well, we can at least drag, drag this stuff out of the way. So, a little bit of a setback with the grapple, but we can still make use of the tractor and I think still get y'all taken care of. We need to get this tree out of the way, so we will likely crash it kind of back that way, out of the way, put a good notch in it, kind of clean that off. Yeah. And the next plan, this tree, the way it kind of grows, it almost kind of forks. We'll take the smaller fork, go that way, this big one, go this way. Uh, that one may not be in the way for now. I don't see any reason to mess with it. So we'll worry about these three and then see if we can't figure out a way to get the stump grinder in here going this direction then. Yeah, I think if we can get the car to twist too, uh, I brought another chain hoist where we can pull this way and that way. That front tree may not be a problem other than the bumper. And I, well, yeah, the bumper. I can cut the bumper if I have to because you ain't gonna salvage that thing no how. No, I don't think so. All right. Well, we will get to work. See you, saw. the tractor and then cut down this other tree. So you're gonna have to wash the car. I'm sorry.
Think it's gonna come out of there? Yeah. That dent wasn't there when you started. Hey, now. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit more cutting. It looks less intimidating, that's for sure. Yeah. I thought we'd just kind of whittle pieces off right. as, as much as I can until we can't no more. What does that front tray look like? Is it, I think we're gonna have to mess with it or just cut the bumper? I, I think your bumper is the only thing that's held up in it. Right. I can see underneath the quarter panel right here. Right. I don't know. I think I'll go grab a sawzall real quick then and cut that off. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any way around that because right. we're definitely gonna have to cut that off at least. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this for a minute. All right. Yeah, someone's always gonna wonder what the story is behind this chrome in the trunk of this tree. <laughs> it's gonna be there a while. I got a big old hammer too that we can try to smack. Well, I'm trying not to pry it against the car. Right. It, I think this is where the big snake is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's I think bad I can... is I'm not sure if there ain't a smaller tree growing up up underneath this car too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I think I think this is all freed up now where I can just cut right down in there and that big chunk will come off. Okay. It almost wants to come off, but I just don't want to cry against it too much. Yeah. There's the end of that bumper. Who's your, who's your end of your bumper? <laughs> well, it's gonna have to because that bumper, if the bumper's still attached to the car. Oh somewhere, yeah, cause that's. Surely it's not it's though. It's grown between the bumper and the tree. Surely it's ripped off the bracket. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't keep cutting chunks of this out so we can okay. free it up. I'm gonna go grab that bigger, uh, yeah. bigger hammer where we can smack at that too. We got the tire on that one. It's, it's just attached to the tire just as well. Yeah. yeah, it really is, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Good in there. Oh. Yeah, you'd think it hit that and just say, well, I'll grow a different direction. <laughs> Something a little bit. No, I just easy. Moved right up right up into it. Oh golly. Yeah. Let me try to do this real quick. Yeah. That's yeah, you're wheel. hitting the wheel there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'd go keep going down low like you were because you were hitting the wheel right there. Um, I'm going to try to straighten my butt. <laughs> Probably won't, but... Let me hold it. Um, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, grab it real quick. Oh yeah. Keep going. All right, no, I think I stopped there. Uh, 
Let me see your hammer. Yeah, you probably didn't know you were gonna have to whittle. I always whittle while I work. <laughs> Uh, if I can get her up there. Oh, golly. Hoping I'll hit it so hard the car will flip up out of here. This stuff went quick. It's this whittle stuff. It's <laughs> <laughs> taking so long. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's been waiting to say that. No, no, that's <laughs> just waiting for the right time. I don't know if we can get that out now. You know, I could try to cut on the inside right there just a little bit. I mean, we're not obviously worried about hitting right. the tire. Yeah, as long as we. And I think Keeps I can you safe avoid. and don't mess up your gear. All right. Chainsaw chains are pretty cheap. You want to try to get that out or is it fine? Uh, probably. Let's try to get it out. Okay. So we pretty much got this tree that was on the side wheel cut out of the way, uh, but this front tree is still holding into the bumper pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and try to cut it down also. Uh, that's pretty much knocking out all the trees around the car besides the one on the quarter panel. And hopefully that will be one of the few we don't have to take down from here. I saw the, the whole thing dropped, moved down just a little bit. Yeah, it's not loose by any right. means, but we're, we're close. Yeah. <laughs> well, all we like is finishing up. <laughs> that's right. Let me, let me see your hammer. Oh, ow. Oh man. There's the bumper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is the whole bumper. <laughs> Send that off to get it re -chromed. I think it's still attached, attached to that side piece. I say our chrome bumper's got too much wood grain. <laughs> Yeah. Still attached over there? Yeah. Can I cut that? Is it oh. rusty enough to break off? I, was, I thought it would be. Yeah. You'd think it would be. Keep looking at that way, maybe. 
Okay, there it goes. There's the fish that chrome feet I grabbed ever seen. <laughs> There's your bumper. It's pretty cool though. Well, that'll be something I want to bring back to the shop with us. Yeah. So somewhere about right there is gonna be your piece. <sighs> Or dent something. Scratch the paint. Let's see what's left. That's what I was trying to see if that maybe I can see where that's attached. Might be a cut right there. A couple little pieces right there, but see or feel where that piece of the bumper bracket is. I think I'm there. It is, it's growing into it for sure. There's some right in there. Yeah, it's loose. Except for that wheel. Yeah, that wheel is still solid. Front is loose, except for this one wheel. Get right here on this, okay. on this lip, or with something. Yeah. You want to wait or try to use this kind of day? Yeah, it's coming loose. I bet that hubcap will almost come off now. I should have been a dentist. <laughs> Not if you're pulling teeth. Like that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm feeling them right now. <laughs> You gotta get them loose before you can pull them. Won't come out of there. Huh? Stuck. Don't like much, but it likes that much. Bet you can maybe get down there. Oh. Like that. Can you get to that fourth bolt on the bottom? Can you hammer that? That's it right there that's hung on. No, it's right there. Oh, there's five of them. Oh, there is. Oh, right there. it is. Oh, that's why I can't, it can't, cause it can't move because the trunk's there, I guess. There's no way to come this way. Five lug wheel. All I've got is a three eighths ratchet set. You got anything? I didn't bring any tools. Nothing? Yeah, I'd, uh, unfortunately, my tools go from one truck to the other and don't always make it into the truck. Let me go grab it and see. Maybe they won't, for some reason, be too tight. Yeah, pretty loose. Well, praise God. Everything else no is kidding. just a struggle. 
all that moisture in that tray kept them lubricated. Well, they didn't put them on very tight back then, did they? <laughs> You'd have to if you had hubcap like that. <laughs> Uh, these ones may be a on. different story. Uh. Oh, yeah. If we get this off, do we want to? Hook a chain hoist to the front side, pull yeah, it that way. Yeah, we'll have way, to go that way just And maybe bit. pull the back end this way. Yeah, that, that mill right there got to come out. We're going to go at least 16 feet. <laughs> Did you I'll look up you. underneath the car to make sure that there wasn't anything else growing up underneath? I there? looked a while ago and uh, I didn't see anything. I thought I'd seen something the other day, but I don't see it now. So. Whoever thought you'd have to unbolt a tree? from your car. <laughs> well. That's worse than one of them little, uh, where, they, where you're in the parking spot and you shouldn't be and they lock you down. Yeah, this that's, how it that's works. what happened this here. This is what yeah. happened. This is country version. Yep. That's got it out of there. I'm gonna hook the chain to that big old tree on this front side, I think, and then maybe just kind of pull it and make it go. You might be able to just go to this little tree right here at the base of it. Yeah. If, if it's, unless you need to pull backwards that way. Yeah. Just needs to kind of turn counterclockwise a little bit, I think. Yeah, car's moving. Is it? Car is moving. Oh yeah, you're out of the wheel. I don't feel like it, like I mean, it's moving much. A little bit more to go, yeah. Yeah, you've moved in almost three inches probably. All right. A little over two. I'm gonna check on this back here, make sure we're not getting back in it. Watch out, chain. Yeah. Is yours pulling too? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's moving a lot. Yeah, he's moving. <sighs> Whew. Yeah, your, mine's your tight. progress has stopped. Yeah, mine's tight. That may be where that tree's growing up underneath the bottom of it, into the engine bay. Keep, uh, keep pulling your way. You got the stronger come along. I see it twisting, but. Ooh. Ooh. Something's not moving like it needs to. That front needs to go that way. I think we're probably trying to get into that wheel now. Yeah, let me see if I can get this jack up underneath it, see if it's something. Hang in there. Coming now, ain't it? Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're moving. It's, it's, yeah. There's a big old root or something over there. Coming up over there on your side by the... I see that, yeah. Huge root, looks like. Let me reach up in there. Up into Going it. up into the engine bay. Really? Yeah. At least there's a lot of dirt well, around it. Not... I can't tell a whole lot. It broke. Unless it broke. I'm looking at a different spot. That's the only place I see anything. I don't see anything. I'm gonna put that block of wood up underneath there. Maybe to allow it to just kind of slide on it. I wish I had a piece of the stick right here up underneath this hub and let it slide with it. Uh, you got a piece of wood? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I've got a board in the truck. You got Probably several get. pieces of these limbs around here we can cut you. Go up a little more. Go up a little more? Yeah. He's got that block. What are you trying to do? Get, get this that board piece up underneath it so it don't 
drop into the dirt and slide, and maybe it'll slide across in this. Well. Can't find a good spot to live from now. Scared me. Keep it's going. not even my arm. No, hold on. If you could slide that board the other way, Dad, will it not? Because we'll have to go backwards for too long. There you go. He's got it up underneath the hub now. That okay. work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can maybe try to crank that one a little bit more, get it away from that tree, and then go straight backwards with it. Got about four inches now. You think we can hook to your tractor and just try to pull it out? I don't see why not. It'll be a turned. lot easier than these things. Get it out there where we can have more room to get it on the trailer, hopefully. Um, we got two options. We can use the front end. I can lift with that, but it's going to be prying on places right. we should, or I can turn around and hook to the ball. I think we'll turn around and just try to yeah, drag okay. it out. Let me can get turned around. This wheel's rolling. Huh? This wheel's actually rolling. Really? Yeah. This one's not. That one's still not. Nice. I'm a little garden here for you. Hey, no way, you did all the work today. Oh, now come on. It was a joint effort. <laughs> yeah. I mean, still got to try to get the wheel out, too. So That's pretty cool. I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little skeptical when yeah. we showed up to look at it. You had told me about it, but I just, it's hard for me to imagine how it's gonna, all going to work out, but it just took a little time. And Right. Yeah, I think that front tree on that bumper was a little bit of a, a problem with not getting it out the first time. No kidding. Well, hey. man. I think we're gonna load up and head back to Paris. Sounds good, man. I'm gonna get this thing winched on the trailer and 
head back to Bogota. <laughs> I believe it's safe to say that we're able to mark this down as an experience that we'll never forget. I mean, there's been a lot of vehicles that me and dad have had to cut out of the woods, and a lot of times we'll bring back part of the tree on the vehicle with us. Now, in this case, we actually had to leave part of the vehicle in the woods, so we'll come back later. Hopefully, we can be able to cut that wheel out of the trunk of that tree. We're bringing home most of the bumper that was still stuck in the tree as well, set it around the shop for a souvenir at least. Now, this car is pretty rough, and mainly because of these trees. I, I don't believe when they parked it out there, it had quite this damage you can just tell as these trees begin to grow up they just begin to push these panels in and dent them in pretty bad so i think a lot of that will pop out the car does have some rust here and there we'll just have to dig into it a little bit deeper see what kind of bones we're working with get up underneath this hood and just see what kind of surprises await us then it's just as bad as a ford